before we move on to that uh, last session by Dr. Anand sir, I just would like to take a couple of minutes just to give the overall picture of uh, what had happened in the last three days. Just give me a minute. Able to see my screen, one of you. Yeah. Able to see my screen? Uh, Radha, sir, uh, you are still. Navi, sir? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, team, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for the patience hearing. Anand Prabhu must be called on the stage, otherwise, he will not hear what you are saying. Yeah. I thought he's already there on the stage. He's in the back room. Uh, Manju, uh, can I, I'll just tell her. I'll just give her a message. I already sent her. You will not hear what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. We, I thought he's already there on the stage. Uh, Manju, uh, can I, I'll just tell her. I'm, I'm, I'm sending a message to her. No, now he has come on stage. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome, Dr. Ranan, sir. Very good evening. I'm sending a message to her. Now he has come on stage. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Ramesh, you are in two places. Okay. Very good evening. Very good evening, sir. Am I present? Oh, okay. I'll just tell you. I'm sending a message. Thank you very much. Ramesh, you're in two places, sir. Okay, so check additional tabs. Now it's okay. Nothing else. Okay. Able to hear me. Right. Uh, you are on mute. Thank you very much, Navi, sir. Yeah, sorry for the hiccups, uh, team. Thank you very much for the last three days. You are active. Uh, patience hearing and uh, participation and uh, i just wanted to summarize how what we did these three days and what are the key takeaways quite interesting you could see that lots of faces with uh, much diversity from different areas different to domains legal to hr to technical to process to whatnot just to summarize as we know the entire program was uh, spanned across three days Totally, almost uh, two to eight in the evenings, so almost six hours, I'm just 18 hours of the sessions. 13 keynote addresses means 13 industry stalwart subject matter experts had come on and shared their perspectives, knowledges on various sessions. Seven panel focused discussions and across for all the panels we had around 22 panel members eminent panel members again across globe interestingly would like to would like to really give the credit to each one of you in the audience session that average we are having we ha we were having almost 180 plus participants and five awards to the key people have been awarded by our eminent award committee, which they had presented the process yesterday to all of us. Interestingly, we also had uploaded 15 plus recorded video sessions, one on interviews with the stakeholders, key stakeholders, subject matter experts on this area, which were available in the resource center at iBentos platform. Would like to would like to update each one of you that the same videos will be available on the site for some more time, probably a week or two. And the same would be moved to our fdppi.in site. Please make a note 
the website. I'm also going to share it with you in the coming slide. Absolutely be confident in visiting the site and getting in touch with us for, for further, you know, our association and add value. Unless you are aware, slide sharing is not happening. No, I, I'm just coming. So, so to touch upon the keynote addresses, various topics, starting with the global data protection regime, to CEOs and board's perspective of the data governance, shape of things to come. I think Mr. Navi said the tone on his ideas and thought process that what the new law need to have as important ingredients with the kind of lessons learned and pitfalls of the existing laws across the globe. And interestingly, section, se session on session, I could really observe and track that speakers were, you know, talking about it, that what the new law should have. Even with the last session, we heard that people were giving it, you know, back to the society. Artificial intelligence, one of the key area today, even in every session we talked about, we need to have a code of contact, we need to have a guideline, we need to have AI ethics in place, we need to have that process for not having the bias, what not. I think uh, quite interesting. Newer area, newer technology, not only AI, even with the metaverse. Wow, what a session Dr. Dugal talked about. Securing privacy in the emerging technologies, continued relevance of ITA 2000 Act in the privacy scenario. Even though, even though we do not have at present a specific data protection law, but that myth has been broken to say that, you know, let's it's it's not fair to say that we do not have a law section 43 capital A addresses it beautifully. Adjudication you know, an appellate tribunal for data protection, need for innovation, very well addressed by the advocate in the afternoon. Ethical and privacy issues in AI applications were talked about. Emergence of neuro rights. You know, again, Mr. Navi had brought in even the professor from Columbia, right? A quite interesting uh, video we all had seen. So lots of work is going on on this area. In the coming days, I'm sure that keep your eyes and ears open that, you know, you will, you will you probably, you know, I'm just giving you my experience with Mr. Navi. We need to be at his pace. By the time you finish reading his blog, there would be two in the, you know, your inbox. Online interactions, impact of emerging technologies and challenges to the privacy. Moving on to the panel discussions. As I said, that seven important to focus area today, what really the industry needs changing profile of data protection laws outside India. I'm sure that all of you know, all of you are tracking 134 laws, 134 countries have enacted or in the process of, you know, it's, it's really a great, um, we need to be, we need to be uh, running behind it. Otherwise we will not be really having an idea. Privacy in corporate DNA, how to really set it up, how to really bring it. Because without starting from, you know, the entire organization getting involved, all the stakeholders are talking to each other. It's not going to happen as we have seen. And um, the stalwarts had really made an interesting remarks that it's not so easy. That's also a point we have taken it. Cross-border transfer of personal data, emerging technologies and challenges, data monetization and emergence of new, new data assets. Quite interesting new topic handled by stalwarts in the afternoon. And again, again, here at FDPPI, Mr. Navi had already given a system, already had come out with a guideline on this, how to do it. Data audit frameworks, we talked about comparing what we really need to do to bring in a data protection compliance management system. I would humbly request each one of you to really apply your mind, spend some time, go through the DPCMS, what has been drafted, which has also has been implemented in few of the organizations yeah, by Ujwala. And we, we have done that kind of detailed mapping with respect to any one of the existing ISO standards to various laws. And the flexibility in privacy law, how to meet the sectoral challenges we are going to, you know, we heard about it, the last session. And awardees, once again, congratulations on behalf of FDPPI. 
well deserved team and elected selected by the uh, very neat established process by three of our senior colleagues at fdppi and i just wanted to just to come back to you that at the fdpp this is the first slide we put on the first day to set the context again back in your mind to go back that what is fdpp is all about and how really you will get benefit in your association with fdpp i i said it on the first day you know make sure that your calendar is blocked for gnanavardhini seminar at 7 on wednesday religiously it's happening subject matter experts from the industry across globe on various topics information security to privacy to technology to you know um, legal aspects etc is getting covered free absolutely that's why i said of the people by the people for the people data protection professionals fdp pays all about we have that dpji data protection journal of india once a quarter it's being edited editorial board and eminent team sitting there at fdppi spending their time in really understanding what are all the constraints or the challenges of that particular quarter we do have lots of training programs a certified data protection professional which is like your data protection officer program like in any other you know institutes which are covering from module i indian law to module g global laws to module d d for data audit what we talked about we have programs which really focusing on for the you know youngsters at the college level privacy and youth program and of course that last but not least this is the third year successful i would say with all your participation and thanks once again having said having understood what fdp pay is all about we have different kind of membership as i said basic members very you once when you come on board obviously you will be able to listen to all that knowledge what we are talking about and we have the foundation members we have the supporting members obviously this is the supporting member program is a kind of entrepreneurs who can get associated with fdppi working jointly with fdppi in terms of executing the projects right on let's say some of the examples gdpr compliance project to keep part to implementing some of the technology ish you know aspects within the organization obviously we recommend the corporate members to come forward and get associated with fdpp again it's the good cause for the industry we are trying to do in association and pattern members would request you all of you to make a note of this website fdppi.in simple go there you will see lots and lots of uh, you know knowledge with respect to whatever i'm talking about now what are the key takeaways as a team as a group what we have done i'm sure it's not only my thought on this slide all of you would agree with me and appreciate that we together we were trying to bring in what a kind of recommendations we have for the upcoming law what this indian law need to have the important aspects starting from mr navi to all the speakers i could really see i am sure the government of india the the concerned the functions departments ministries should hear and would hear to listen to our thoughts on this new thoughts on new areas like data valuation and accounting neuro rights i'm just putting one or two here so many things are coming up and as i was telling in mr navi's session probably india should be the second country to to get into this neuro rights as a separate law next to chile data auditor competence where everybody is talking about what is data audit as i said in my first slide first day inauguration we already have 200 plus eminent personalities ready to serve the industry in india to to help the uh, organizations enterprises what a session we had these three days what a diversity we had not only from various domains and technologies etc from different countries we had people in fact i really would like to thank them on your behalf at this point of time i know some of them had time at 5:30 of their time in their country 
but active participation in fact i was trying to check with them would you would you look you know ask me to change the time they said ramesh is okay we would join that's the commitment and really i would like to thank them at this point and this is what fdp could do this year to bring in more and more collaboration at the global level and this slide i'm trying to put to sensitize each one of us the kind of discussions the kind of knowledge what we were trying to you know what we had absorbed i'm just trying to put a kind of nominal figure even 1000 rupees per session we were talking about 17 panel discussions with the seven keynote addresses if i add 24 even if i put 1000 rupees per session for you and me we were talking about almost approximately 25000 rupees of worth probably i'm talking about data valuation here information valuation and this is what i think we are pride and happy to give it back to the industry to the privacy arena as a value add as part of the corporate social responsibility i am sure each one of you agree to my thoughts what i have shared what we had done together in all the three days with this once again on behalf of fdp pay management on behalf of the entire fdp pay community i would like to thank each one of you for your active participation i know it's not easy task starting from friday saturday and sunday and we were extremely happy and we are really well satisfied with each one of your participation thanks once again and navi sir would you like to say something or i would request you to hold on your views after our dr anand's presentation probably you can give your closing remarks navi sir yeah, yeah. thank you very much and now i would like to introduce uh, dr i will just unshare stop sharing yeah okay it's already stopped okay uh